The third strike in the fundamental four is a lead hook. So you have your two punches, which are straight shots, your jab and your cross, and the next two is angle punches, a lead hook and a rear uppercut. And in this video, it's all about the lead hook. So the hook can be thrown two different ways. It can be thrown as a quick flash hook or a check hook. This is where you throw it without real uh, any power. Uh, it's more of a speed punch and a check hook to where you counter when somebody's coming in or you want to set up another shot. The second way to throw a hook is with power. And this is where you implement the body mechanics of twisting and torquing your hips in order to deliver. Most of the time, you'll be throwing this hook, a power hook, uh, off a setup in order to deliver a power hook. And in this video, the fundamental hook that you need to learn first before you do all the other hooks or variations of a hook is a power hook. So not a check hook, that comes later. In this video, we're gonna focus on the power lead hook. Now, a little side note about throwing hooks or any other punches uh, by themselves. So, as a beginner, you want to greatly minimize the single punches that you throw. That includes a hook or an uppercut, especially a hook and uppercut because they open you up. So you rarely want to throw them by themselves as a one single shot. When you're drilling, yes, that's perfectly fine because you're drilling technique, you're drilling uh, maybe a combination, uh, but most of the time you're just drilling in order to get the body mechanics right. So that's perfectly fine to throw them by themselves over and over and over again. Uh, but when you're sparring, when you're freestyling, you want to minimize the single punches that you throw because at certain point if that's all you do and you throw a single punch and you throw it at the same speed same cadence same rhythm you're gonna get timed so the rule is do not throw a punch more than two times the same punch more than two times otherwise somebody who knows how to counter you will tag you and they will put you out so don't punch the same strike over and over and over again unless you are doing this within the drill. And that's what we are focused on, on in the series. We're focusing on drilling, but that's an important side note that you need to be aware of. So, few important tips that you need to keep in mind when you are practicing and drilling the lead power hook. First thing is it should be thrown from your, from your uh, fight stance. And the power from your lead hook comes from the body twist. So the important part is you do not load up and try to take your hand, your lead hand, and load up in order to deliver a hook. Power doesn't come from this. Power comes from the twist and the torque of the body, starting from your legs all the way up to your hips, upper body, and the hook is just a delivery mechanism. Always remember this. So do not load up your hook. Don't do this. See this a lot. And you guys always do this. They always put their hand back, open themselves up, and try to deliver a hook. So very important, don't load up. It used to be thrown right from here. Now naturally, there is a slight movement that you have to do in order to uh, position your, your fist so you can throw the hook. Obviously, you're not gonna throw it like this, just from here. You do have to move a slightly, and it's usually done with the body. You can also kind of move your hand slightly down, but do not go too far. So to get that body rotation, you do have to slightly slip. And this is important because you usually will throw a hook off a cross and you'll already be chambered up. So you can throw it right from the chin. But in terms of drilling just by itself, you kind of stand here and you do have to dip slightly in order to throw the hook. Now. Uh, the body mechanics for this, here's the fight stance. When you throw the hook and you deliver the hook, you have to position the rear foot flat on the ground. You rotate with the feet and you raise the heel of your lead foot up. So here's what it looks like. From here, you need to twist your hips and rotate your feet. So now your lead, uh, your lead heel is off the ground and the hook is gonna be thrown right behind it. So this is where you get the body twist from this motion right here. 
So this is a good drill to practice in order to rota rotate your hips so you can throw your body behind it. So this right here, and uh, in fight stands, I haven't covered this, and I covered this more in the course, uh, I'll raise my heel off the ground in a fight stance. That gives a little bit more sprint to it. So remember, when you twist and you rotate the body, you plant the heel, your rear foot goes flat to the ground, and the lead foot rotates in order to rotate your hips and the legs and the torso, and that comes off the ground. So this is where you need to be, right here. That's where you get the power, that twist. The hip motion, the torque. And next, you introduce the hand. The hand, naturally, has to be in the fight stance. Like I mentioned, you could dip your body slightly in order to open up the hook a little bit more. Or you can just throw it from here, and you, you do have to kind of move your hand a little bit so you can deliver that angled power hook. So when you throw your hook, the end position of the hook has to be right here, 90 degrees. Your fist gets rotated and the knuckles are pointing towards you. There are variations of a hook where you can throw it like this, so where the, the, uh, the knuckles are horizontal. Uh, that's more of a variation of a hook. The fundamental hook is the knuckles are uh, vertical and all the fingers are pointing towards you, the palm is facing you. All right? And there's not a degree angle here. And then when you throw, this is where it should end, right here. 90 degrees here, the fist is right in front of your chin, your nose, and there's a straight line from your shoulder to your elbow to your fist. Not this, that's a body shot, that's totally different, we're aiming for the head. You throw, and your body mechanics have to be aligned right here. The fist never goes past your nose, so you don't throw a hook like this. So you might twist, but you don't overextend, and continue throwing with your arm. As soon as your knuckles hit the center line, your nose and your chin, the body comes into play and you just follow through. So right here, as soon as that fist touches the center line, I follow through with the body. And that's how you implement the body into the hook. So from on the bag, I'm gonna stand right here and I'm just gonna drill. Rotating my body, but rotating my hips first, my legs, hips, feet, torso, and then delivering with the strike. And of course, your right hand, your rear hand, keep it by the chin. Don't drop it. Don't be sloppy. Drill very deliberately and methodically. So then, when you pick up speed, you'll already have the body mechanics uh, as a muscle memory, and you can throw faster. Start slow, then speed up. So just like the other punches, you want to start drilling shadow boxing. Drill it very slow, keeping the hook out there, checking your body mechanics, coming back to your fight stance, then do a flow drill where you're more controlled, a little bit more speed, but you're flowing. And then you begin to implement with more snap. More power, more precision, more intensity, higher pace. And then you do the same thing on the bag. Drill for speed, uh, for, uh, drill for distance, drill for body mechanics, then begin to flow, and then you implement more power, more, uh, more intensity, more uh, vigor, as if you are sparring, as if you are fighting. Now, what we just covered, are just a few of the important tips condensed. But in the course, we go deeper into throwing the lead hook. Proper body positioning, everything's broken down even in more detail. And all the other punches are also in there. So you get more details for the jab, you get more body mechanics for the cross, for the hook, for the uppercut. Then we'll also bring everything together and begin to throw in them as combinations. This is where uh, this is how you learn how to fight is drilling combinations and i'll give you tips on more tips on shadow boxing and how to work the bag so if you want more detailed deep dive into the fundamental four and 
getting your striking up to par, up to a higher level and learning all the proper fundamentals, which this is your groundwork. Everything else gets built on top. You should get the course. It's fundamental four, the essential four strikes you absolutely need to master. The course is available right now, you can pick it up. There is gonna be a link in the description box below. Or if you're watching this on the website, there'll be a link to download the course there as well. So, I will see you in the course, and I will see you in the next video, which we're gonna cover the uppercut. And here's another bonus commentary on working and drilling specifically the lead power hook. So whenever you drill, you're essentially going to repeat the same strike over and over and over again in order to get the body mechanics correct. Being extremely aware of your body position, where your hand is, how you're executing your strike, are you pivoting and rotating your hips and your legs in order to deliver that hook. You could implement some footwork into this as you drill, kind of uh, get in and get out, or you can just stand in one spot and drill over and over and over again. The key to drilling also is to be very methodical and deliberate as you drill. So it's not just you throwing strike over and over and over again mindlessly, trying to get the repetitions in. You are thinking about the strike every time you throw. You are analyzing your body position in real time. You doing mental checks where your hands are. If you are rotating, if you are bringing your hand back to your chin, all these things you have to keep in mind as you drill. These are also the same principles you would drill and keep in mind when you are shadow boxing. So it just doesn't apply to the bag. It applies to everything. It applies to shadow boxing, to mid work, to pad work. If you're doing some other equipment such as a tennis ball drill or a speed bag, remember how you drill one thing is how you drill everything. And how you train is how you will fight. So make sure you are drilling very methodical and very deliberate, trying to get better every single time you throw.